Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to Create With Me. My name is Mary Ellen Stites. My business is Create With Me, and I create here in the Creativity Nest. So welcome to Teach Me Tuesday. I come to you every Tuesday at 2 p.m. for another project using uh, Stampin' Up! products, uh, usually a card a technique of fancy fold, and today is no different. So I'm super excited. We're getting into like graduation season, and um, it's such a nice opportunity to share uh, with the um, kids or even adults that are uh, moving on or graduating or just to celebrate their education. So I want to share with you a fun um, pop-up uh, gift card holder that you can give to your graduate uh, this year. So let me take you down to my desk. Okay, so this is the card that I made and I'm using some uh, products that are going to be retiring soon. So you're going to want to grab them. There's a link in the uh, video description uh, because they will be gone um, at the end of April, if not before, especially this paper. So I am using um, two stamp sets on this card, but let me show you how it works. You open it up and it's just slides, pops up and you fit your little gift card in here. Super, super cute. Uh, just like that. So the stamp sets that I'm using are the cap and gown stamp set. This was in the January to April uh, mini catalog 2024. And then the other stamp set, this is a returning stamp set. We're just going to use this little uh, curly cue here uh, for showing how the hat is going up on the uh, card. But I wanted to show you that anyway. The paper um, I decided we're going to make this card tomorrow in my club and I decided to go with a neutral paper and then I'm going to let everyone um, pick their own um, colors out. So um, for their coordinating school, I live in uh, near Champaign-Urbana, Illinois, and we have the University of Illinois and our colors are orange and blue. So hence the orange and the blue. So uh, that's the colors that I chose I'm um, using Night of Navy and Pumpkin Pie for my color choices. The paper is from the rock and roll paper. Um, I decided to use a black and white theme and then everyone could go from okay, there. So, so let me show you the pieces that you're going to need to get started. You're going to need um, two pieces of cardstock. Uh, one is a half a sheet of eight and a half by 11. So it's four and a quarter by 11. And then you're going to need a piece <clears throat> for your slider on inside is seven and in, seven inches by three and a half inches you're going to need um, a piece of scrap paper just to do your stamping and coloring. We'll set that one aside. <clears throat> For the inside, this part right here, you're going to need a piece of paper that's four inches by two and three quarter inches. You're going to need um, a piece of paper that is four inches by three and a half inches for here. You're going to need this piece right here and that is um, four inches by one and a half inches. Then for the inside slider, you're gonna need a piece that's uh, three and a quarter by three and a quarter that goes on your inside here. And then your bottom uh, here is three and a quarter by one and three quarters. And then you'll need a little uh, something to put your greeting on. And I've just cut a die cut a little piece right there. So. Um, let me get started with your scoring. So I'm going to bring in my um, paper cutter with the um, scoring blade and let me make sure I get it up into the um, camera so you can see. Um, I'm going to extend my um, arm just like this and we're going to score the um, first piece of cardstock at uh, three and three quarters and nine and a quarter. So three and three quarters, we're going to get our cutting blade out of the way, score it, and then we're going to go up to nine and a quarter, nine and a quarter, and we're going to score it right like that. So we've got a piece that's going to come in like this and go up like that and meet in the middle. So just like that. Okay, then our inside while we've got our score out, our inside piece at seven by three and a half, we're going to score that at one half inch. And I'm going to score it this way because you'll see why. I'm going to go score it at one half inch and five inches. Okay. And then this one's going to come up like this, but this one's going to fold back like that. And um, we just want to give it a score for now. And then this is going to be the flap that we glue on 
that we're going to make it be a moving part. So now we're going to just do some assembly and then we'll do some coloring and some decorating. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my um, stamp and seal and just add my designer series paper to my um, card. Just like this. Just doing it equidistant. And then our strip that goes on the front. And you could do this in um, any paper that you want for birthday, uh, you know, any occasion. It could be for dad. It could be for mom. It could be for a friend. It doesn't matter. And then on this piece, we've got this piece of designer series paper that goes on the top. So there is an assortment of designer series paper, but um, luckily in this case, we just used black and white and it all came from the same suite. And then I'm going to add, and you could use, you could have used either sides of this paper. It's really pretty paper. So snag it before it's gone. It may be gone now. I hope not. And then this piece here, we're going to stamp on it and then we're going to stamp on this and, and of course the greeting here. So we'll set those aside and we'll do a little bit of stamping. So this is going to be the inside of our card that says, all of the hard work is worth it. And I'm going to just do it in the same colors. I'm going to bring in my Knight of Navy. And I'm going to ink the Knight of Navy and just stamp it here. That way it gives me um, some room to do a little bit of, of a greeting. And I'm going to put the little scroll here. And then I'm going to finish it by decorating uh, just this little ribbon with a little bit of the blue. Just like that. Okay, so now that's ready to be adhered on the inside of my card. And I can go ahead and do that now. Let me bring it in like this. And I'm going to go up towards the top and go equidistance on the three sides, as you can see. Just like that, because I'm going to leave room for my uh, sliding mechanism here. So we've got that done. Then we're going to stamp in pumpkin pie the greeting that says, congratulations, graduate. And you can embellish this in any way you want. You could add um, gems. You could add some twine. Um, I decided that I would just leave it um, pretty simple um, just to show you exactly what it is. And, and um, I, I just kind of like it like that. So let's go ahead and stamp our um, parts. We're going to be using blends. So we're going to stamp in memento ink. So I'm going to move the Knight of Navy out of the way. And you're just going to need one of each hand and then one of the um, hat just like that we'll get that out of the way we'll put these out of the way I'm just going to move these so that I do not get any ink on myself all right so let's do a little coloring so these are the colors that I chose and I'm going to bring them in so you can see what colors that I chose. I've got light and dark night of navy, light and dark pumpkin pie, and then I've got, um, what is this? This is light pumpkin pie. Oh, I have these just because sometimes my pumpkin pies get used so much. These are the colors that I chose for my um, skin tone. So I've got the, um, these are the nat natural blends. I've got the SU-1000 and SU-800 and the SU 500 and this is totally subjective you can use all different shades I this is not my favorite um, I think I could found something a little bit better but I want a little pink undertone um, for mine so I'm gonna color my hands and this is the 1000 I'm sure that there's a there's a better name for them. I'm pretty sure <laughs> they've got like dark neutral and different colors, but this is what I have on mine. I'm just going to add a little bit of a beige. These these blends are nice to have uh, just to add some extra color. I'm I'm kind of covering up that pink. I just wanted the pink to be like an undertone. So I'm, I'm doing it super, super quickly and simple. And then I'm going to use this for some shading down here by the um, cuff. 
just like this go into some of these spots here that there might be a little bit of more color and then i'll go back and blend them in and i think i'm just going to use this um, pink again to do my blending and i just use circular motion so i'm i'm blending all that um, color back in i'm giving it kind of shading so hopefully it will take away some of those stark lines here as it colors okay so there i'm going to stop with that tone right there now i'm going to come in with my um, night of navy i'm going to use the light night of navy um for my sleeves of my gown and you saw i kind of extended them a little bit uh, just to be on the safe side i'm extending all the way down uh, to the um, end of my paper in case i decide that uh, i want them to be a little bit longer when i go to attach them to my card um, but then i've got the leeway to cut it a little bit shorter if i want to so um, that's why i did that and then i'm going to come in with some dark and of course i got dark inside my sleeve here and here i'm going to go right along this cuff with my dark and then i'm going to bring in the sides and i do that to kind of get a um, rounded 3d instead of just being flat and so it looks it looks a little strange now but if i go back with the light and just blend i'm going to first i'm going to get a little bit darker color which is what i want anyway and it's going to blend that so now you see it's got a light center here and it's just giving me um, kind of that three-dimensional um, look to the cuff just like that so then i'll go in with my um, light pumpkin pie and i'm going to color in the um, most of the cap i'm going to leave the tassel we'll color that blue I should probably be using the brush side, but some of the brush sides on my pumpkin pies have been just used so much that they don't look that great. Okay, so then I'm going to come in with the dark, and I'm going to hit my corners. I'm going to hit my band right there. I'm going to get this corner here, then of course my sides again to give me some dimension. Oh, some dimension. going to be a little dark around this um, part of the uh, cap and then I'm going to blend it in for some shading I'm not worried about going outside the lines because I'm going to cut this with my snips and I can cut it really close so that kind of gives it let me just hold that up a little bit it kind of gives it a three-dimensional look just a little bit uh, I could have probably gone a little darker on the um, top of the cap um, but I think I'm just going to leave it at that then I'm just going to use one color I'm going to go with the darkest night of navy for my tassel okay now we just have to do a little bit of snipping let me get these markers out of the way I'll bring in my paper snips and uh, we'll get this cut out lickety split okay so there's my three pieces that i need to put on my card and so now we're ready to kind of assemble the front of the card just like this so what you're going to do is you're going to need to take a little bit of um, liquid adhesive you could take um some tear and tape if you've got some that's um, narrow um, i just like the liquid glue And I like to extend it just a little bit above. It just gives it a little extra uh, hold power. I just go a little, and you can see how thin my line is. And I'm just going to let it sit there for just a minute um, while I bring in this piece here. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing to it, just like this. And I'm letting it sit so that it gets just a little bit tacky so it's not um, wet, wet. I just go all the way up to the um, 
designer series paper and then I can just close that and hold it for just a second. Okay. And then I can go ahead and close this now and hold that. Let's hold that closed. Just takes a little, just takes a little more effort to hold those uh, just for just a second. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to, I can tuck this in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring it. Um, I'm not going to go right next to the fold. I want a little bit of movement. So I'm going to pull it down just a little bit, maybe uh, an eighth of an inch. And this is where I do want some tear and tape or something strong. So I've got a little uh, strip of tear and tape here. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. <clears throat> and I'm going to tape that right to my card. And then I can just use my scissors and I'm, I'm kind of amazing myself that I got that perfectly aligned. So I'm going to um, go make sure I, I'm equidistant and then I'm just going to close my card just like that onto that. And then it's just going to pull up my piece just like that. So um, usually you're just going to pull like that. So I'm not worried about flipping out like that. So let's use a little bit of uh, liquid adhesive on these hands. And we want them to be uh, down here and uh, as flush as we can get them. So the liquid adhesive works the best to get into some of those little fingers and the thumb. And these are throwing up the cap in uh, celebration of being done with all their education, at least to this point. Let's bring in the uh, memento ink, which I buried here. And we are going to stamp the little, um, well, it's a little bee trail, but we're going to make it be our cap trail. And we're just going to stamp the little cap trail just like this. Let's set that out of the way. We'll bring in some dimensionals. For our cap. And we're going to want that cap to be just coming up just like so, just like that. And then we'll add a couple dimensionals on our greeting. And that's all there is to this card. We can place it wherever we want. We want it over here. I'm going to just put it down here. We've got enough room for it just like that. And there's our little slide up gift card holder. You're going to put your little gift uh, card in there, whether it's for Starbucks or whatever, a Visa gift card, or uh, if they're graduating college, maybe it's um, for the grocery store. So um, I hope you enjoyed this card. Um, look for all the details in the um, back in the um, video description. And uh, thank you for joining me today for Teach Me Tuesday. Bye, everybody.